how's it going guys welcome to another video we're back in the golf r we uh we scooped this thing back i think it was earlier last week been driving it for a week and yeah happy to say no uh no dramatic issues basically to sum it all up we had a, a bit of a compromised oil filter housing they didn't really go into too too much detail as to sort of what the full extent was uh, on top of that i suppose and i had no idea they were directional uh, but my oil filter was also on upside down I would have never guessed that that was even a, a possible thing but so yeah unfortunately that led to the car basically throwing up about a quart of oil maybe a little more it was very fortunate that I you know caught it when I did although I still don't even I can't imagine how I even got to that point really should have tightened up my uh, the oil housing you live and you learn and uh, again it was very very minor uh, the total expenses it's kind of hard to really just uh, break it down I think honestly the tow free because triple a thank goodness for triple a um what else i guess like a three dollar <laughs> three dollar toll when i brought it to volkswagen they did another oil change so technically i guess i threw away the money from fcp that i you know paid for uh, for all the the stuff from them so the car is running factory oil um and uh yeah i mean it's it's running fine you know no issues uh it's about i think the the total like i said the total cost was about 128 bucks i think was the cost of an oil change nowadays which is really insane um, and then on top of that I actually I'm coming up to 60,000 miles I like to kind of do preventative maintenance so I ended up doing the Haldex fluid swap as well as the Haldex filter clean filter clean believe it or not is way more expensive than the fluid swap so uh, the filter clean was right around like 200 bucks um, and the Haldex uh, service is like 178 uh, so all in like nearly 400 bucks for that type of work. It's kind of pricey, uh, but it's it's definitely required maintenance. So if you guys drive a, a Haldex car and you have not done the, um, what do they call it? Like, I guess the filter clean, uh, do it. It's really, really important. That's probably the thing that ends up, you know, killing these Haldex systems altogether is not cleaning your filter. So make sure you stay on top of that. And uh, of course, tend to that filter because it really does get gross. The tires are completely shot in the front. Well, I shouldn't say completely. There's pretty noticeable camber wear on the uh, the inner part. Again, I'm on only on VWR springs. I don't have a front sway bar in yet. Uh, so they're really, you know, there's not much camber aside, you know, factory wheels, you know, it's, it's, it's I feel like it's pretty conservative. And um, I'm starting to see a lot of, uh, of wear. So I have yet to do the, uh, put the new tires on. In fact, I've actually yet to do the Haldex. I paid for it. <laughs> I, uh, I just haven't brought it, brought it in for the, uh, the full service and everything. So <clears throat> we'll, um, yeah, we'll hopefully get all that done this week, maybe midweek, later this week, whenever I have time. It's just sitting at the dealership waiting to go on the car. As I suspected, you know, it's it's a very minor issue and I still wanted to document it because I feel like a lot of people who drive these cars and document and have YouTube channels, you know, they, they, they film all the good stuff and perhaps some of the dramatic bad stuff, but this is part of ownership, guys. You know, if a lot of you guys are, are hopefully watching my videos and you see what I do and don't do, uh, a lot of the, the things that end up going poorly for me, and that's that's the way to do it. You know, that's why I make these videos in the first place, just to kind of, hey, these are things to avoid. <laughs> um, so now you guys know when you do your oil change to um, definitely probably not bring it to the dealer because it's really expensive and to tighten down all of your, you know, filters, housings, everything um, after uh, after putting in some fresh oil. So um, lesson learned. We're not going to make that mistake again. But yeah, so aside from that, all right, so what to expect for the uh, upcoming uh, well, just a couple of months? I am going to probably, you know, I'm definitely going to drive this thing through the winter time. And then um, I'm going to probably uh, presume uh, probably around the time of, um, I'm going to say probably around May or June um, is when I'm going to put this thing up for sale. Uh, it's just a really sad thing to even think about. But yeah, I'm going to put this thing up for sale. I really want to try something new, a completely different platform. It's something that I've been probably talking about for a while. Uh, my dream car, you know, there's, a, there's several of them, but one of my dream cars is an Audi RS5. But the more I think about owning one of those things, the limited content uh, with that car, which just doesn't matter to me um, at this point. I've just been buying cars for content and I end up loving the cars, which is the fortunate thing. I didn't think I was going to love this car as much as I do. It really kind of befuddles me why I want to sell it in the first place, but uh, I really, the true reason is I really want to try something new. 
Um, so I know a lot of you guys are probably not going to like to hear that, but it's true. Um, I am ready for something, uh, something new. And um, yeah, this car's been great to me. I love it. I really, really do. It's going to be crazy to think of life without, you know, a golf art. But uh, I will get into another one of these in the near future. This is not the end of golf's. Uh, I pro plan to get a Mark 8 Golf R. I know I've probably said to you guys plenty of times I wasn't going to do it, but a car is just so good. Um, so I will end up uh, in one of those. I don't know when it'll be, but uh, we're going to get through the summer months and kind of decide what the winter holds, you know, for, I guess, new cars. So, um, But anyway, uh, yeah, that's a little update on the Golf R. I wanted just to uh, just film this video just to give you guys a little, little rundown as to what to expect. And... Um, sort of I guess the update on the car itself because obviously this was a bit of a you know drastic update so um, she's all good to go things fast as hell and um, we'll still do a couple couple mods here and there but as far as things go pretty happy where it's at I still owe you guys a video on the rear sway bar I actually have a mini install video and then um, kind of an overview and then I'll probably on top of that I'll do a POV drive so look out for those videos those will be pretty exciting um, DOS driven I'm doing a whole revamp to that whole lineup before the holidays so Look out for those. Just in time for the holiday season. I think it's a great stocking stuffer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll end it there. Thank you guys again for uh, for staying tuned. Look out for some, uh, some more fun stuff, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace and love.